What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today and today we have the February 2021 Gemini Jets tier list rankings for you guys. So I hope you guys are excited for today's video. Once again, we have another tier list video. I want to apologize, they've been a little slower uh, due to a variety of factors. But uh, anyways, we have finally made it here today. I know these probably came out a week or two ago now. Uh, trying to play the best catch up that I can uh, during these uh, very busy times for me. So I hope you guys understand. And uh, yeah, so like I said, hope you guys are excited for today's video. We have uh, another nice set of models to go over. Very diverse as per usual uh, with Gemini Jets. Um, at least we got some decent, uh, a good variety of narrow bodies this month. I think we were uh, a lot closer to 50%, which I think is where we need to be compared to uh, you know, that 80% heavy ratio. So very glad to see this from Gemini Jets. Uh, still quite a few heavies. I think we had um, four or five, so. Nevertheless, uh, like I said, I hope you guys are excited for today's video. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get this a show on the road, if you will. I uh, got some awesome models in here, as per usual. So I personally am not gonna be buying anything from this set. This is the first time in, um, oh boy, at least as of right now, if you know what I mean. But I believe this is the first time in about a year or so I have not bought a model from a Gemini Jets release, which is quite crazy to think about, but simply just uh, not enough um, of a desire right now or a need for a model airport to uh, make it justful to spend uh, $35 on one of these. But I I think they're all really nice models. So if you want one, definitely go for one. But anyways, here we are on Tier Maker, guys. I uh, got another nice lineup, as you can tell. Um, so yeah, very excited to get in here. It's been quite too long, in my opinion, and really, really excited to get back into this set. So we're gonna waste no time by getting started with the, if it'll pull up, there we go. The Aero Mexico Boeing 787-9, hopefully the lens will stop autofocusing. 787-9 uh, in the uh, current livery, of course. Okay, I think the lens is done now, hopefully. So anyways, uh, NG Models did this one over the summer, I believe. Um, but and they did a good job. Uh, Jim and I going to attack them as well. This is going to MSRP at like 50, but it's probably, um, I think it's 45 still. But, anyways, another 787 um, here for Gemini. They've done quite a few recently. So, um, looking good. You got your 10 uh, nose, or sorry, cockpit windows, and you got the nose landing gear, Sky Team logo, and then you got the uh, first doors, second doors. Uh, obviously, they're Photoshop. Uh, one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a comparison photo from a model that was about three years ago that's very similar uh, to another one in this set and kind of show you guys the dramatic Photoshop difference. But anyways, another nice 787. Uh, they did get the brown Wi-Fi box, which was added uh, probably a year or two ago to this one. It was what it looked like from the uh, pictures online. Uh, obviously, with this mold, it is simply just the wing flex. The rest of it is pretty solid. Um, but yeah, another uh, nice 787. Uh, they did a nice job, and I'm glad to see that they're making some more Aero Mexico models. Uh, as you can tell from here, if I zoom in to give show off the score, the mold's a 15 for that wing flex, and then the engines are a little large, in my opinion, but not too bad. Uh, the color is a 17 as well. Uh, not bad at all. They did a really good job on it from the glance, uh, and also a 13. For the uh, details, comes out to a 90%. Here's a real life picture of the aircraft. This was before it had the. This was before it had the brown Wi-Fi box. So, anyways, looking really, really nice right there, as you can tell. And another really good model, obviously, as you guys saw, put it at 90% because of the mold mainly, but still, we'll get it up into the perfect category. Another really nice model, and uh, Gemini Jets definitely starting on a hot note right there with that Aero Mexico. Next up, um, there we go. We're right, we're going to the right this time. Uh, we have the British Airways Airbus A380-800. Personally, I think this is a really good release. Uh, this is going to satisfy a lot of collectors such as Aviation 18 and plenty of other people that are looking for a normal livery uh, British Airways A380 as these are typically very nice sellers for Gemini Jets. So I'm glad to see that they did another one. Um, so yeah, looking good. Uh, you got your nose cone up here. I've seen some debate about that nose. Uh, I think it's decent, uh, but definitely, uh, I think I could do a little bit of work on that. And uh, British Airways titles, very similar to the 747 with the Photoshop, as you can tell. And there goes my chair. So as you can tell, looks really, really nice. What I was saying about that colors, it looks very similar to the 747 Photoshop, as we saw. Uh, and then you got the engines. I think there's a little wing flex on this mold, but overall, I don't think it's too, too horribly awful. Um, these double deckers are awesome, man. I'm super glad to see this one. This one does have a Wi-Fi box, which is really neat. So that looks nice. And then, uh, yeah, it's an A380. It looks really good. Always love how British Airways does the uh, red tips on the, I forgot what these were called. I looked them up and still forgot. Uh, like eight something flaps is what it's called, I think. And then you got the uh, red tips on the winglets, which look great. Uh, another really nice model here. Um, this is uh, really good from Gemini Jets and uh, they did another awesome job on another E380 right there. 
As for the score, I gave the mold a 15.5. I thought that was about right. 17 for the color, 13 for the details. Puts it up to a 91%. It's not bad at all for that British A380. And uh, I'll be eager to see who gets it. That's a really nice model. I'm glad uh, to see the Gym Night Jets doing another A380, as you guys can tell. Uh, wrong way, sorry. Next up, we're on to a beautiful model. I did consider this one a little bit, but uh, ultimately I decided not to. We have the Cargo Lux Boeing 747-400 freighter in their retro livery. Uh, I personally really like this livery. I think it's really, really cool. Uh, very gorgeous one for sure. So let's take a look at this one more in depth uh, here. Another really awesome aircraft from Gemini Jets. Uh, starting up here, you got the uh, black paint on the nose and then under the uh, cockpit windows, which is really neat. And then obviously a uh, very neat livery with your white here. Then you got the red and then you have that metallic silver grayish color, which is really neat. Uh, they really hit home on a lot of these details. One thing that I really am a little disappointed by by these uh, 747 is I believe this triangle piece is supposed to be turned around the other way. Um, from my observations, like uh, I got a a350 on my desk right here i don't know if you can see that but like that where the triangles on that side um so it's a little rough that they uh have it that going the wrong way uh everything else in the mold i think is pretty good i think the wing flex is pretty limited and really ultimately just a really nice model uh it's the boeing 747 400 freighter right there then you got the cargo lux uh building block logo if you will uh another really nice model uh I really like this one. This one's really good. If I had to pick one to buy it, it would probably be this one or the uh, British Airways A380 from this set. Uh, here's that uh, real life A380, by the way. Sorry for forgetting to show that. And then uh, you have the uh, Cargo Lux right here. One thing that I did want to note is in different lighting conditions, this silver grayish metallic color comes out much differently. As you can tell, it's a really light grayish color in this one. However, here you can tell it's a much darker silverish color, if you will. So. That was kind of a hard thing to judge about delivery. Everything else I thought was uh, really nice. Uh, hopefully they got that Cargo Lux logo underneath and ultimately just a really cool plane. I, I bet a couple, uh, quite a few people will get this one. I want to say Phoenix did it as well, which is awesome. And taking a look at the score here, uh, I got another really good score, 15.5 for the mold, 16.5 for the color. I took a 0.5 off uh, simply because I didn't know how to handle that uh, silver color, and we're not. I'm not quite sure how that's going to come out. There hasn't been enough examples of that, or at least I don't have a model like that off the top of my head that I can judge with that Photoshop. So I decided to take 0.5 just in case it was a little off, but I think it's really good. You can give a 91 there, uh, or 17 rather, I should say. 13 for the details, put that in 90. Another really good model. It does go into perfect. I think they did a really nice job with that uh, Cargo Lux Boeing 747-400. And if I had to pick one, I would probably be picking this one for sure. Next up, uh, here's the model that I was talking about. This is the Delta Airlines Boeing 757-300. Um, they've done quite a few of these with the winglets and we have another iteration, but I'm not gonna complain about some US narrow bodies. Uh, so as you can tell, really, really neat model. Now, uh, only a few differences from that 2018 release that I have. Uh, most notably, the main two that come to mind uh, from my observations are the Wi-Fi box. Much different shape. Uh, in my opinion, I do prefer the uh, 2018 Wi-Fi box shape. As you can tell, uh, it's that more long, more rectangular shape, if you will. Uh, I just like it a little better than, um, I just think that that's a little bummed out. Um, that's more of like a 737 Wi-Fi box, not really, or A321 even, not really a 757, to me at least. They did a really good job with the detail and everything. The other notable thing is this isn't uh, that metallic gray on the wings. This is more of a light lighter white color which looks really good now i'm going to bring up something to show you guys a little uh, retrospective here all righty so as you can tell right here i have two delta airlines Boeing 757-300s pulled up this is the 2018 release right here it's stock picture and then here's the 2021 uh this really just proves the point of how much photoshop they have used uh now the lighting uh the exposure is much higher in this photo but as you can tell it's kind of a similar situation and as you can tell uh it comes out much differently nowadays because of all the uh, photoshop that gemini jets is doing prime examples of the saturation here are the yellow lines as you can tell they are way brought out in these photos as well as the uh, you can compare with the delta widget how much brighter that is and then the blue as well that almost looks dark there or obviously very very dark navy this shade, this shade is more of a, um, you know, a lighter or mid, more mid-tone blue, if you will. Uh, it just really shows off how much uh, more there are. And I'll kind of uh, make big and reduce the size just so you guys can kind of get a big observation of that. Uh, here's that Wi-Fi box shape that I was talking about. As you can tell, much longer and more rectangular. Uh, that's definitely what it looks like more to me. 
Um, this one isn't bad, just a, a key note to take away from that. Uh, besides that, they are very similar. Obviously, the wings, as you can tell, you don't have that dark shade right there is what I was getting at. Uh, but yeah, two very, very similar models. I'll be eager to see how those stack up. Uh, Gemini has definitely done a few of those similar ones. And uh, yeah, really, really uh, neat situation right there. Very neat. Um, everything else is about the same. Um, I'm not noticing anything crazy. Also, the horizontal stabilizer has that uh, same uh, tone on the wing. Everything else looks very, very similar to its uh, 2018 counterpart right there. So anyways, here's that model once again, just taking a look. Uh, let's bring back up the real life picture right here. And it's really, really a good model for the most part. Uh, very, very pleased with what they had going there. And if we take a look at the score, I uh, did the comparison picture. Uh, we got 16 for the mold, 17 for the color, 14 for the details. That brings it out to 94%. Uh, that's one of the better models that are released for sure. The 757 mold from Gemini Jets is definitely not too bad. So really, really nice model right there. And good job, Gemini Jets, for doing another good 757-300 for sure. Wrong way. Next up, we're on to the LL Boeing 737-900ER with the normal winglets. However, this one is in the piece livery, which is a very, very neat situation. Um, really, really nice model right here. Uh, they did a good job on the actual livery and everything. You got the piece decals or uh, name up here, rather, I should say, up here. I think it may be on that side. Um, rest of it looks really, really good. You got your Wi Fi box, the antennas. Uh, we do see wing flex, but we went over this mold many times. Uh, it definitely has room for improvement. Uh, this is four X ray Echo Hotel Delta 737 900 right there. You do have that etched emergency exit right there, which is a very neat uh, feature about the 737 900. Uh, it's a very similar situation to that Cargo Lux with this silver. It's a very hard one to judge. Um, so gave a little compensation both ways. But still, I thought they did a really good job on it. 13 for the mold. We've been over that. 16.5 for the color. Same situation as Cargo Lux. 13 for the details. That puts it at 85%. Uh, compensating for the or considering the mold, that's not a bad score right there, honestly. Um, really a pretty good model. Just the uh, mold uh, definitely has a little bit of work to do, in my opinion. Next up, we're on to a very interesting model. Um... One of the, uh, I did not even know they had a mold for this. This is a uh, Interflug, I believe, LL62M. Uh, this is a retro aircraft, of course, a retro airline um, from somewhere in Europe, I believe. This one is very, very neat. And believe it or not, this thing, if I am not mistaken, oh, I did not mean to open shot cut if it accidentally does that. So hopefully not. I think we're good. It sold out, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, those retro guys go hard, man. They really love those retro planes, and every one of those guys was going hard on this one. Uh, so as you can tell, got the cockpit windows in a very interesting nose shape. I'm not sure how this mold is. I'm not sure if many do. Um, I kind of took the best uh, assumptions that I could off of what I saw on the internet. And it looks pretty solid for the most part. Uh, the landing gear definitely uh, interests me a little bit. Uh, but a really, really neat plane right here. I'm um, glad to see some really killer variety. This is a really cool plane that they uh, chose to do. Um, obviously that Photoshop definitely brings it out, but I feel like they did a good job here. The four engines here, whether one of the, or if, whether only two of them work or not is still really, really, really nice. And, uh, wow, that's just really, really neat to me. A very, very cool plane right there. Uh, oops, didn't mean to go all the way down my bad. Um, sorry guys, the computer really needed a new rig hopefully. But, uh, anyways, there's the LL. Sorry for missing that. Uh, really, really nice. And then here is the, uh, oh, wrong way. Um, it went out of order. Uh, there we go. And as you can tell, looks really, really, really good. Uh, very, very neat aircraft, as you can tell. Uh, this is a nice picture from uh, May of 1989. That's a really, really cool plane. Uh, got some really nice scores. Um, sorry, we went a little out of order with that Emirates. Uh, it was UAE on the photo name, so we got a little out of order. But anyway, 17 for the mold, 17 for the color, 12 for the details. It was The details seemed a little light. Um, just from a glance, but not too bad at all. 92%. That's a really nice uh, retro model right there. Highly recommend it if you're looking for one of those. Uh, thank you, Gemini, for doing some uh, different stuff. That's really cool, I feel like. On to uh, the next model, I should say. It's the two airlines, Boeing 737-800 with the split scimitars. And I see some uh, different models here. I believe I thought NG did this one early, early on, or maybe that was the, uh, uh, which one was it? EasyJet, maybe. But uh, I th thought they did one, but if not, uh, really cool to finally see this uh, from Gemini. Uh, just with the LL, same thing. The mold is a rough sequence. Uh, besides that, I thought they did a pretty good job. Um, the dark shade of navy really interests me. Um, but I feel like uh, the Photoshop is why. So I didn't really deduct that any. I just wanted to note that. 
Uh, looking really good here. Um, Tui Livery is awesome and I'm glad to see, uh, hopefully for these European collectors, this will satisfy a bunch of needs. This is Gulf uh, Foxtrot Delta Zulu uniform. And again, like I said, another really nice model. Um, yeah, this one's really good. Tui.com on the engines and uh, yeah, great to see another Tui model produced here. Um, that aircraft should be uh, somewhere here, if I can find it, there it is. As a, like I was saying, in that mid-tone blue as well. But I believe it is the Photoshop that is throwing me off there. Uh, but yeah, the majority of it's looking really, really good. So that's looking awesome. Uh, here's the score for that. Um, that one is right there. 13 for the mold, 16.5 uh, for the color, and 13 for the details. That brought it out to 85%, not 95, but 85%. And uh, overall, a really good model for the most part. Uh, same situation with the LL, just the mold is kind of the... Uh, Probably the thing with that, but overall not too bad at all. So nice job there for Gemini Jets to get another uh, nice representation of that. And on to our Emirates Airbus E380. This one's in that uh, 2020. Oh, let me double check to see what that's called real quick. Uh, Year of Tolerance. That was the one. That's MSRP at $67, and I believe that is officially the 27th <laughs> Emirates A380 done uh, in like the 22nd consecutive special livery. So here we go. Um, like I said with the British Airways, the mold uh, is pretty good for the most part, not too bad. Um, uh, just slap a different livery on it and it's another Emirates A380. Um, hopefully they're making some good money on that and it's satisfying EK Aviation's needs. That's kind of where we're at with these Emirates A380 liveries. Um, you know, uh, very glad that those uh, collectors can get the uh, all the special liveries. That must just be a ton of fun, I would have to think. Uh, looks really, really good as per usual. Uh, just slap uh, 20 people or however many we got there. And a uh, year of tolerance looks really, really nice. So definitely something different. Not my expertise on these all these Emirates special liveries. Uh, I saw the Expo 2020 sticker back in 2016 when Emirates was filing the A380 into Dallas, which was really cool. It was the worst backflip shot I've ever took, but uh, still very, very neat aircraft. Uh, and love these Emirates A380s. Uh, I think everybody just wants a normal one at this point. I continue to um, go to the wallpaper on accident. And hopefully my uh, computer gets a little faster here. Here's a real life shot of the aircraft. And yeah, looking really good. Um, here, back over here, 15 for the mold. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One main thing that I noticed with that is there's no Wi-Fi box. Um, I don't know why they put one on the British Airways A380, but not one here. Uh, that really interests me. So I'm not sure uh, if anybody knows if that's like, uh, if there's a certain situation with that, I'd be very appreciative to know what's going on with that. Uh, but that was definitely one thing that I noticed right there. Um, everything else looking really good though. Uh, just the interesting note on the Wi-Fi box. Uh, but yeah, the Emirates A380 looking good. 17 for the color, 13 for the details. That puts it out to 90%. A lot of these barely making it into the perfect, but uh, yeah, overall they uh, barely slide in here, which is really nice to see. So another really nice Emirates A380 and a good job there by Jim Nuggets once again. Next up, we're on to the United Airlines Boeing 787-9 by Gemini Jets. Uh, this was put on the future previews back in uh, July, or I think June actually, of 2019. And it is just now getting made, which is uh, crazy that they put uh, future previews on there for a year and a half, but here we are. Finally got made another 787-9, two 83s and two 787-9, something to note. Uh, so yeah, you got the tinted cockpit windows with the Starlines logo, you got the first set of doors. Uh, I'm sure you guys are probably uh, already noticing uh, the main thing here that stands out like sore thumb is unfortunately um, after many uh, correct shades of Evo blue, this one came out uh, very light. Um, it really puts the United uh, 777, uh, that one was slightly light, but uh, this one is uh, really, really light. Uh, that's uh, This is uh, another level of light. <laughs> It is noticeable throughout the whole uh, United livery uh, here. I don't think it's the Photoshop. I have to think that it's the actual livery because um, I was looking at that 787-10 to compare uh, in kind of a similar situation and uh, it was much darker, which is how it is. Uh, engines and titles notably, but also the Evo Blue Glove as well seems very light. Besides that, it looks really good. I really like my MG1 that I got, so obviously not a big desire for me, but if anybody's looking for this one, uh, definitely go ahead and uh, cop it up. Uh, not a bad plane right there. Just uh, just a little interesting how you do the livery right uh, multiple times. I think they've done it really adequately, um, what, eight or nine times? And uh, this is, um, nah, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not too impressed with that. I feel like they could have did a little better with the livery part of it. Everything else looking good though, but uh, yeah. Needs to be more like that blue line down there. That looks uh, quite better. 
But uh, yeah, that's a rough sequence for sure, as per usual. You got 15 from the mold. The color I decided to put the 14, uh, mainly just because they've got it right so many times. In a normal case, if they would have got like the, um, for example, the LL, a little dark, I probably or light, whatever, I probably would have gave it more like a 15.5. But uh, that's that's just uh, not going to cut it, I believe. 13 for the details. That's 84 percent. Not a bad model. Just really got to get that livery right. Um, not uh definitely could have saw a little better effort right there uh that's a really a uh, little rough but not too bad overall not a bad uh sequence uh but yeah still a nice model recommended if you'd like to get it then finally we're on to the french a400m another awesome a400m uh these are really cool airplanes uh this one notably had some uh, cool things on it that i noticed uh first and foremost there's this uh tube here at the front I'm not sure if that launches anything or what the purpose of that is, but that's really cool. Along with these four up blacks, um, I guess they're antennas or scanners or something. Uh, they look really cool, so I noticed that as well. So Gemini did a nice job on this E400. Um, this is typical for them. Uh, they really do a nice job on these Gemini Max planes. Prime example right here with this A400M. So excellent job, Gemini Jets. Uh, I'm not going to go too much more on it. You have a name right here. I probably need to figure out what that is. And then the registration over here. And uh, yeah, Gemini Jets did a really nice job with the A400M as per usual. Um, not too much to review right there. Sorry for not showing all the pictures. Here's the United Airlines 77-9. There's kind of your uh, compensation. That is uh, more of what it's supposed to look like, obviously. And uh, even with the Photoshop integrated into the opinion, definitely uh, way too light. There's that A400M and that looks really nice as well. Um, the gray shade looks much different in different lighting situations, if you're wondering. There's that... Uh, to uh the uh tube up there at the front and these four antenna looking device is um right there foxtrot romeo bravo alpha november um another really nice a400m and gemini continues to do a nice job as per usual another really good score you got 17.5 for the mold 17 for the color 15 for the details 99 percent another really really nice model by the one and only, pardon me, Gemini Jets. And that will do it for today's uh, Gemini Jets tier list video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna be interested to see what their March set is. May already be out by this video, potentially really uh, likely is. And I'll be interested to see what they do. Um, in my opinion, I think uh, for the US domestic side, I think we're overdue on a really nice release. Um, so that would be great to see, but we'll have to see. MG's been a little quiet as, um, Chinese New Year came around and they kind of just uh, dipped for a while. So hopefully they return with some fire at some point. Uh, but for the current time, we're currently, um, I think those February releases will come in at some point. So yeah, uh, patiently waiting on that. But uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much everything we got for today, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as per usual. Another fun um, tier list video and I'm excited to see what the future holds here for Gemini Jets and all these model companies. And uh, yeah, so like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, guys. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Red River Aviation. Pardon me. Red River Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon as Red River Aviation is signing off.